All right, just a great story on this Friday afternoon. A man in the North Georgia mountains is feeling the warmth of community after living alone and in the cold for years. Known as Mr. Rogers to his new friends, Roger Alexander was living in a home without heat that was falling apart for years. That's right. Our Caitlin Ross reports how his neighborhood stepped in to help. It is quiet in Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. This was my first and only home. The only company to keep is in the rushing streams and the wind in the trees. It's isolated the way it feels. It is lonely in Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. It was about three or three and a half years. There's an indentation in the sofa where I sat all that time. Mr. Roger Alexander was alone until his neighborhood came to the door. He said, you know, I had just given up on people. He said, I didn't want to burden anyone. I didn't want to ask for anything. Michelle Patton owns a cleaning company and responded to a Facebook post about an elderly U.S. military veteran who needed help. And the home actually looked abandoned. She thought she was just going to tidy up, but found he needed much more than that. When I first walked in, I just saw water, which I don't know much, but I knew that was not good. So she asked for the helpers. I'm full of words, but I don't know how to describe this. Always look for the helpers. I had no idea when I made that post that it would cause the sky to open up, and it really has. Mr. Rogers hadn't left his house for three years. I was lost, and then I was found. He hadn't left his living room for three years. Another year or two or three or four sitting in there alone, that would have been it. Huddled next to a space heater against the cold. It's got a little lean to it, but then again, so do I. The people in his neighborhood wanted to bring him warmth. We don't want anyone in our community living like this. We don't want any of our elders to be scared to ask for help or to sit on a sofa for three years without even just having someone come say hello. So the neighborhood got to work. Hundreds of people volunteering their time and skill, clearing trees, rebuilding the deck, creating room in his home and space in his heart. I'll never be able to repay what they're doing for me. <clears throat> and I hope they know how I feel about it. Michelle says the work is bringing them all closer together. I know what I'm getting and. Thousands of people joining the group rallying around Mr. Rogers online. I didn't know there were so many good people, not only in the world, but in my community. It is a beautiful day in Mr. Rogers neighborhood. A beautiful day in the neighborhood and just looking at the community stepping mm -hmm. up to help somebody who they didn't realize how much it was going to impact him uh, and you could just see that impact i think the most impactful thing that he said he said i was lost but i was found yeah. people found him they helped him and now his life is much better for it such a beautiful